Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff by Tequila Aficionado Media. Happy 2020. We made it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Uh, although, uh, Matt, I I'm here with, uh, I'm here in the heartbeat of the San Gabriel Valley of Southern California. I'm Mike Morales. That gentleman out there is? Matt Metris in Rochester, New York. Uh, you know, we're done with quarantine now. You know, everybody's safe and sound, Matt, so you can shave. Ah, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right where it is. Thank <laughs> you, though. Yeah, boy, wasn't 2020 a bitch of a year, man. Well, I'm telling didn't, you. Didn't think we were going to, I was, you know, I was holding out hope for that asteroid. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm. I. I was so glad we found that that vaccination. You know, it was a. It was buried in a in the in the pyramids in Egypt or something. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Pfizer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today, folks, we are going to taste and dissect a new mezcal. This is called Maximo, and I know you probably can't see this. It's um, the the branding is very simple. And they went with simple branding on purpose. At least that's what the 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 importer is telling us. You probably can't, you know, it's so clear. You can see through the, the bottle and the labeling. And and it's kind of weird. I know. It kind of gives you that that vodka look. Yeah. Uh, only, only way clearer. And this is an artisanal mezcal. Um, before we, we give you the ins and outs, though, uh, Let's just say this is an 80 proof, 40 ABV. So generally, we call these a gateway mezcal. We're going to taste it first, and then we're going to give you all the uh, stats and stories on it. And uh, I like the shampoo bubbles already. I'm I'm turning my bottle back and forth upside down, and you know, um, uh, bubbles. Look at that, nice lingering. Yeah. Oh, you've got some really good. Wow. Oh, they're, they're nice. They're well lit here. You can see the light reflected in yeah, the bottle. But uh, can, holy cow. Look they look like, it looks like a bottle of Goldschlager, man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, it's okay. These are bubbles. It's not bad filtration or anything like that. Um, I am going to use my Stasso Jarrito that we generally use for mezcal. And we're going to pour a little bit in here. And uh, this is, a like I said, an 80 proof Espadín, okay? Which is the uh, the the standard uh, of of most mezcals? They normally start with that plant, and then they they go from there. Matt, you can see it's it's uh, he's showing you his. Uh, wow, you really got some great lighting, man. Yeah, I upgraded. I upgraded uh, yeah. from our you, the basement you, studios. You went you went completely halogen, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, 2020 spent a lot of time on Zoom, so I, I had to upgrade the microphone and the lighting and everything else down here. I even got a plant behind me. You're, you're all professional now, <laughs> man. I'm still, I'm still in this little room here with my shelf and my, you know, my background. He's got, he's got an agave plant in the back of his background there. Um, nice, nice legs. Like, yeah. Yeah, nice legs. What, it, what else do you see? This is really a pristine mezcal. Wow. Yeah, it really is. Get a nice shimmer off the top. Yep. And the legs and tears are beautifully uniform. Uh, they're actually thick. He's mm -hmm. got thick tears on this one. Wow, it's lovely. So, so what do we get on nose here? Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Oh. I'm getting a lot of stuff. My, my first pass, my first initial thing was... I got clay. Clay? I got licorice. Did you really? Or like an anise, yeah. Mine, uh, to be fair, my bottle has been open for a while, but... but Looks like there's some missing there, Mike. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Not, not a whole lot. Um, you know, I got a lot, of, a lot of warm agave, like a... You know, just a lot of plant and vegetation, which is really, yeah. really... It's very and, traditional espadine e. Well, it was interesting because... On the first pass, I got clay, a little bit of clay, maybe a hint of smoke, and then it turned into this bright green, this, mm -hmm. this, this uh, vegetal. Yeah, almost no smoke at all, which is uh, not super common for being cooked in an underground oven like this. Well, uh, we'll let me, you know, as, as we go through this, I'll, we'll give the background. We have um, um, some information from the importer that I'll read to you. It's just a small uh, amount of information. Wow, this is really, 
The nose on this is rich for an eight. Mm -hmm. Wow, now I'm getting at that licorice you were talking about, but I'm getting it down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think is at, well, you just broke your seal on yours, right? Yeah. And I just caught it right as I went from one nostril to the other. That's when I picked up that licorice. Now, see, the funny, the interesting thing is, here's the deal with, with Maximo. Uh, Matt had gotten his bottle last year in 2020. And and it took it took these folks almost the entire year to get me the other bottle. So at that point, when 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 it showed up, we had already uh uh cut we already had our cutoff for for the 2020 brands of promise which y'all by this point have have probably seen who the winners are okay so no spoilers have, yeah no spoilers so so this this uh, entry will now be entered in for the 2021 season which is why you you folks are watching this now wow this is a, some rich earthiness wow you know, when I generally taste these uh, off camera, away from the from the guys, and just you know, when I, if if I had the time, I break one open. I don't normally use my jarrito. I just I just sip it on. I usually use a snifter. But wow, when when mm -hmm. I when I break these down with you guys, I'll pull out my tool shed and my tool case, <laughs> and uh, completely different animal. It just all these elements that you miss in a in a regular drinking vessel come right up i did not get i did not sense any of this initially hmm. wow well let's see what it tastes like man yeah. we got hmm. oh my god Holy cow, man. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. Yeah, it is. I got a lot of uh, black pepper notes. Some some vegetation. Almost uh, on the swallow picked up a little bit of minciness. I don't know if you saw that at all. Well, um, I got even more of that. Well, I'm calling it clay or earth or smoke. And 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 as, I, as we read some of this, you'll understand why I'm picking some of this stuff out. There's, you know, it's, it's, and it's all on your palate. It all hits you at once. Mm -hmm. The intake is sweet. And then at mid palate, you have this, this explosion. And then the retronasal is, is, is beautiful. Wow. Wow. And really no ethanol in, in the aroma or in the taste. It's just no. not there. Yeah. No, it's not there. There's not, you know, generally at the higher ABVs, there's, there's going to be some of that, that, um, uh, smoke, more smoke, more ethanol. This is much gentler. Um, but it still, still speaks to you. I mean, this is for, for an 80 proof, it's a sub substantial mezcal. Yeah. And that's a good point. There's no, there's no smoke present either, uh, which a lot of people would, would associate typically with, a mezcal um wow. we're not seeing that wow this is a um i don't know about you but my finish is like medium to short mm -hmm. there's not a there's not a warm fuzzy or anything that that we get with even some of the other um you know 80 proof mezcals um the information that we have let me let me read this to you first of all so so that you folks who are watch who are listening to us and watching us um can can hear this um it says maximo takes a unique approach to our ancestral production techniques allowing a uh, a sweeter mezcal with lighter smoke profile we also placed uh maximo at 80 proof so that the u.s market would be able to taste the nuances in the terrar and the flavor profiles maximo maximo is aimed at consumers who have either had a bad experience with the smokiness of big brands or those who are unfamiliar with the spirit so this is by design is what mm -hmm. they're telling us that that you know uh, that's why they went they went there and um 
Matt, you said you have their 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 website up. What what kind of uh, what kind of ins and outs do we do we know? What kind of background do we know about the? Um... Yeah, so there's some uh, there's some information about the production process, and uh, basically we're looking at sorry uh, we're looking at uh, underground hornos uh, traditional pits. Okay. Uh, three days is what they say they're roasting in there, and then uh, to hone a ground. Uh, and I did not see anything about their stills. Uh, copper stills, wood fire, copper stills. So pretty traditional method uh, as far as making mezcal. Well, you know, again, mezcal has these categories where they have to meet certain criteria and, and to be to be called artisanal. So uh, with the artisanal uh, uh, labeling, they are meeting all the criteria. Now, uh, with Matt and myself, you may have noticed the last time we did a mezcal, where you see the QR code there, okay? Here's, here's a really cool hint for folks who are just getting into mezcal. You want to know more about the process, okay? Get yourself a good QR code um, reader, okay? And it takes you, what, what, that, what that does, it takes you directly to the CRM website. And it, this is their version of the gnome list. That if you're familiar with the tequila gnome list, it tells you who the producer is, um, the ins and outs. Now, here's what the law says. The law says they can. They don't need to give you any more information than what than what is minimal information. Okay, so some of these will have just the minimal information, but with Maximo, what I really loved, Matt, and I don't know if you saw that, but if you keep scrolling down, you see pictures of the Taona, you see pictures of the copper pot stills, and the descriptions in Spanish, and you and so you get. This is probably one of the most. Um, I think you and I did Dos Hombres together, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And besides Dos Hombres, this one, Maximo, gives you most information on, on the CRM website that I've ever seen. So their transparency, I love the transparency, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to um, uh, educating the, 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 the newcomer to Mescal. And it, the, the sad part is not a whole lot of people can actually – are aware of that and like like Matt I will show you I will scroll up on the screen and show you what we've got uh, that's the CRM website it gives you, and then if you keep scrolling you see the pictures of the I think I forget that's the pit roasting yeah and then that one there is a uh, it's a hona and then this is the fermentation isn't it it yep they ferment oh wow you can you can amplify that you can you can touch screen it mm-hmm and that's uh, they cut they they uh, ferment in open air pine vats, okay. Oh, the pictures are the pictures that come down here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is their master distiller, but I don't have a name for him. Do you see a name for that gentleman? I did not see a name either. Uh, the and let me bear with me here, folks. If you're listening to us on the, on the podcast, let me get into. Uh, let me get into uh, wow! I just lost it. Okay. And as um, far as the QR code goes, we see a lot of uh, mezcals where you you just see uh, like Espadine. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, exactly. Very little information. You, you get Espadine that's required to be in there. Uh, and so this is really nice to see this kind of transparency with a brand because it's not super common. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to have to take the picture of it again because uh, I lost my image. Uh, there we go. Uh, so you'll excuse my back to, to you, folks. Uh, and of course, it, it, you may need to learn a little Spanish to read these because they are in Spanish. It's 100% agave. Uh, the name of the company is Maximo 21st Century. Um, the Espadine. Uh, it gives you the bottler. Uh, Let's see. Of course, it's Oaxaca, and I don't see um, Tataona. Yeah, the fermentation is of pine vats, uh, and of course, the wording is all in Spanish. You'll see Alabique de Caldera de Cobre uh, con Montera de Cobre. So it's copper pot still. All of it's copper, but I think mm -hmm. it's encased in. Uh, uh, I think it's encased in in uh, in stone. Um, 
that's to heat it up. But it's all it's all wow. You can see that hammered copper look too to one of the pot stills. Very very impressive. Yeah. I just I, I wish they would give us the name of the oh here it is here it is, Agustin Mateo Martinez. Um, and if I read the bottle correctly, does yeah on the bottle it does say he's third generation. Okay, yeah, you 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 say that on the bottle, right? Yeah. And the bottle has real small, you know, wording. You'll have to put your hand up to it because it's all it's all clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is all by design, folks. And um, I I'm I'm impressed, man. This this is really mm -hmm. this this is really well done. I I'm just getting more, and I'm getting more of that that anise kind of licorice thing. Oh, oh no. totally. Oops. I mean, I drank I drank all mine. I'll oh, did you? More. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a yeah, long year, samples, Mike. <laughs> samples don't last long with Matt. You know, it's, yeah. just, it's the. Have you had snow yet in uh, in in uh, Rochester, or is it? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Mm. Wow, it's delightful. It really is. That's just that's magnificent. Okay, well, um, do we have a price point? Just out of curiosity, because here's what I got on the cap of the one that was sent me. $32.99. No way. So I assume they took this off the shelf somewhere before yeah. they shipped it over. But uh that that is a really reasonable price for this. Holy cow, all day long. Yeah. All day long. So um I don't know. I, I had not had a chance to look. Um uh, actually folks, we're 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 taping and filming this in early November of 2020. So, uh, my stuff is still in boxes. Cause as you know, I, I've started a residency in Southern California. So I have tequila in boxes that, you know, anyway. Um, so I have not had a chance to, to do any, any, any exploring online. So I have no idea what the price point is online. Do we even, do they give us a price on their website? They do not on the website, but I just did a quick, uh, search and, uh, found a couple websites selling it in 36, $37 range. So it's it's in the ballpark. Yeah, so thirty two is wow. I, I want to yeah, get it for thirty two. I want <laughs> grab a whole case. I want yeah. I wonder if that's uh like on the East Coast maybe. Yeah, I mean so, I, I you know there's the I looked at one of the delivery apps you know for alcohol and uh, they had it on there for thirty seven, uh, and some actual liquor stores that sell online have it a little cheaper. Wow. Yeah, because a delivery service is going to attack on their. Their service fee, probably, yeah. but that's okay. Um, will you agree with me then that this is a brand of promise nominee mm -hmm. 2021? Yeah, uh, outstanding, outstanding mezcal. Uh, I, I like, I like what they're doing. I, I, you know, the the simple branding is is good. The the, the name is good, um, and the fact that this is a, a probably probably one of the best representative gateway mezcals that i've had you know uh and we've had a few you and i have had several at high and lower abvs and this one for a for a gateway i'm really very impressed and and they know exactly who they're going after so mm -hmm. yeah the name is maximo mezcal Take, check it out if <laughs> folks are watching us on on uh on youtube uh if you've had it before you know give us a give us some comments Beautiful, beautiful bubbles on this thing. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely. It's really yeah. well done. Um, it is, it is what they say it is. And and if you snap the QR code on the bottle, you'll get full transparency and full information on on it. More more so than you know, Espadine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyway, that's that's our take on Maximo Mescal. I'm Mike Morales here in Southern California. That gentleman out there is Matt Metris in northern, northeastern, northwestern New York. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, where's my compass? Don't yeah. I have an app for that? Shouldn't have uh, been drinking mezcal all day. Yeah, that's what you get for drinking mezcal. Uh, you have been listening and watching to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our platforms. If you're listening to us on Spotify or iTunes, go ahead and subscribe. If you are watching us on YouTube, uh, please hit that notification button. Hit the like button on that too. Subscribe, unless you're afraid of commitment. And whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely. <laughs>